Osho once said, life in itself has no meaning. Instead, life is an opportunity to create meaning. What do you gather from this quote, my friend, that life is an opportunity to create meaning? You know, it reminds me of how there were so many times when I was looking for my purpose. Where's my purpose? Where's the purpose? Where's the purpose? As if it was just going to fall in my lap one day. But then someone told me, you don't find your purpose. You decide what it is and say, this is my purpose. So the only meaning, true meaning of life is really the one that you subscribe to. Pablo Picasso said, the purpose of life or the meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away, right? Now, we all have a gift that we've been given to give back to the world. But even if you don't give that gift back, even if you find something different to do in this life while you are living in this realm, who's to say that that is not the meaning you have created for yourself? And who's to say your meaning you have created isn't valid? Who's to say anything that you do in this life is invalid? In the end, we are alone, just like we were alone in the beginning. Even our parents, I am discovering, they don't really own us. We didn't come from them. We came through them. So who's to say if we didn't come through them, we wouldn't have come in some other form or fashion. When we use our imagination, there is no limitation. The meaning of life is what you give it. For it's not what we look like or it's not what we look at that matters. It's what we see. What do you see when you look around you? What do you see when you look in the mirror? What do you see when you take a peek into your mind? Do you see meaning? Do you see purpose? Do you see passion? Do you see significance? Do you see your destiny? And who's to say you can't make your own destiny? If you truly want to. Not that you have to be King Arthur pulling a sword out of a stone in order to find out your purpose in life. You could simply be someone who started somewhere and ended somewhere else. Things don't have to be like a fantasy or a fairy tale or as extravagant as it is in the movies, but things very well could be. And if they are, who's to say that it wasn't all meant to happen the way that it did? And that in fact, it couldn't have happened any other way in this lifetime. If we think that there are many other parallel universes out there, then we are living many different parallel purposes. We have many different parallel passions, many different parallel lives, many different relationships, right? many different struggles. But we are living in this life today. So what will we make 
of this life, today, since as far as we know. And I'm happy to stand corrected. This life is all we have. For it is said that we each have two lives and our second life begins when we find out we only have one. What will you make of this life, my friend? And how will you ascribe meaning to your own purpose in life? Not the purpose that you have been told or you have been sold, but the purpose you deem worthy for you. Thank you for listening, my friend. This has been Jerome Shaw on T.O.P., the Open Palm Podcast here in Columbia, South Carolina. I trust you received an encouraging message letting you know that you needn't ever wait on your purpose or your meaning of life to fall in your lap. You can make that meaning. You can deem your purpose today. Dub yourself the king or queen Sit on your throne and make it known, to yourself at least, that your destiny is what you make it. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. And if this is your first time receiving this podcast, subscribe for more inspirational messages like this. If you'd like to support, head on over to anchor.fm slash jshaw. Clicking the support button there is much appreciated. Big shout out and big love to all the wonderful supporters continuing to donate, making it possible for episodes like this. Have a blessed day or night, wherever you are, my friend. And as always, take care.